the learner centric mooc model that we have discussed in this course has been used by instructors to create their online courses or moocs they have used it either partially or fully or even sometimes by tweaking the elements little bit to suit their requirements it was therefore we introduced the concept of lcm light where the instructors can actually design their own elements keeping the learner centric approaches intact in this series of videos we are going to interview those instructors who have successfully implemented partial or full lcm model and created their course these courses have been extremely successful and have been found useful by the learners and therefore we decided to talk to them about what was their application what was their modification and overall experience of implementing the elements of lcm model in their course let's have a look how did this component fit in your course considering its nature and your teaching style well this is a very nice question because it is like a person is searching for his solution in his life for his life problems and a guru comes and stands in front of me this particular question uh, which used to keep coming in my mind uh, was how to transform the video lectures in our moocs our online courses from monologues to dialogues i have been using moodle learning management system for a long time and also love the h5p feature in it reflection spots came to us as the solution for the problem in mathematics for example and uh, the online videos would become really boring if we don't make the learner walk along with us on the path of learning asking questions uh, specific reflections at specific time in the videos made our videos quite interesting and engaging i have been doing that uh, during the face to face lectures also in fact uh, some students used to ask me in break why do you keep on asking questions to us in the class we can't even run away from answering the questions and have to be completely attentive in order to answer them so jokes apart uh, this component of lcm model is really something which every online video creator should uh, try to incorporate that is what i can say which component from the lcm model did you and your team incorporate in your course and why well in 2017 18 when i was in the process of submitting the intro video for my swayam course as a proposal to ugc i thought of sharing it with many people including dr samir sahasrabuddhe and got his feedback i was very happy to get a very immediate and a very important feedback from him and that was about one of the important components of learner centric mooc model which is the reflection spot so from then onwards uh, we have used the reflection spot technique extensively for making our swayam moocs in addition uh, we have also used the lbd that is learning by doing and lxt component of lcm online course development is both fun and challenging how did adoption and adaptation of the lcm model for your mooc add to the fun or the challenges <laughs> you actually reminded me again of the intro video of my swayam course one of the feedback which i got about the intro video was uh, that your course proposal should be accepted for two reasons one because a mathematics teacher making a video with a broad smile and a cool face is really great and uh, secondly a mathematics teacher cracking jokes to make things easy and simple to understand is absolutely great so yes online course development is a fun it is also a challenge uh, which every teacher should take it in the right spirit the learner centric mooc model adaptation made uh, our course content qualitatively on and on a better side as far as online teaching pedagogy is concerned Uh, it was very good it was also fun because our instructional design team enjoyed making the subject matter experts work hard on revising their scripts again and again and also making them do some changes sometimes on the screen also i am also culprit in this 
in few instances the script was made to be altered completely because the reflection spots the focus questions were not up to the mark it is as challenging as making senior professors agree to do a makeup before they come out on the camera screen everyone doesn't take it in the good spirit always and uh, we have to work with all kind of teachers training is i feel also very important because uh, before they start working on their scripts a good amount of training is always useful uh, also there is a time constraint institutions are in a hurry to get the things done in a short time but it really requires uh, time to create quality content hopefully the people at the helm of affairs understand this did you make some additional efforts towards learner centricity above the level of learner centricity achieved by incorporating the lcm model future mooc creators would definitely want to know this well yes thanks for asking this question uh, based on our experiences on the different components of uh, the learner centric mooc model uh, firstly we do a brainstorming with the team members and make each one write down their thoughts of how to bring learner centricity in the course delivery one such element uh, came in our discussions in a training session and that is about uh, lbd learning by doing may we talk about the activities followed by customized feedback in our model i personally feel adding one more adjective to this and that is constructive customized feedback the feedback is not only customized but also constructive finally the objective of entire activity is learning so whatever the learner has responded to the activity is given the feedback has to be constructive so that the learner learns at every step for example i this i gave this example many times in the training sessions that if you are giving a multiple choice question like for example what is the capital of india the four choices are mumbai delhi kolkata chennai if a learner chooses the wrong answer like mumbai what is the customized feedback which we can give the customized feedback will be mumbai is an incorrect answer well we can go a step forward and make the level of learning uh, make the level of learning to the next part by giving some additional information about the correct answer as well as the incorrect answer so one may give a customized feedback that the answer is incorrect the correct answer is delhi the constructivism in that answer would be to know more about delhi you can click here we can give some url and you can also additionally say so that the learning goes to the next level that your answer which was incorrect actually mumbai is the financial capital of india and if you want to know more about it you can click here so that is making the taking the wrong answer also on the learning level through constructive feedback this will give confidence to the online learners and keep them engaged and motivated for their further explorations in their online course this is what we feel how do you incorporate reflection spots in leds on long derivations or numericals ah that is a really uh, it's a big challenge because in mathematics we do come across a uh, lot of places where there are long derivations there are numericals uh, we did uh, to some we did some experiment for example uh, i was solving a problem in the course on complex analysis where i was demonstrating how to find square roots of a complex number now in that video towards the end of it as a summary i asked the learners to summarize the important steps in the solution so the entire solution on the screen was available and the learners were asked to identify five important steps in the solution this was a reflection spot kind of activity and uh, many learners later on gave the feedback that it did help them to solve similar kind of problems so one way is making the learners identify the important steps whether it is a problem to be solved or whether it's a long proof of a theorem in the case of a theorem we tell them to identify the idea of the proof for the theorem once the idea is known to the learners they can expand the proof and write that proof in detail how do you decide on lxi for your course well uh, as you all know there are three things which are there in lxi of which i feel the peer interaction and the focused questions in the discussion forum is what we definitely try to incorporate because i always feel that this helps in the online class engagement and also makes it enriching at some times for my swayam course we did focused uh, questions once in a week and uh, we also ask the learners to provide their feedback to each others responses 
Interestingly, the peer interactions was very much appreciated by the learners. So, definitely we can take uh, the LXI component in this way in the online course. Thank you.